Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is three bars hinged at A and D and pinned at B and C as shown in figure. Form a four, link, four linked mechanism. Determine the value of P that will prevent movement of bars. In this problem, given is a four bar mechanism and link A, B and C, D are hinged at these uh, points and this is a fixed link A, D and at uh, link B, C and link A, B and C, D are pinned at points B and C. There is a force of 2000 Newton applied at an angle 75 degrees from this link and 45 degrees from this link. So when the force of 2000 Newton is applied, it will try to rotate this uh, link AB and eventually the mechanism moves and this link CD also tries to rotate uh, clockwise direction. So in order to prevent there is a force P is applied on this link CD. Uh, it is at an angle 45 degrees from this link and 60 degrees from this link. So in this problem, we need to find what is the amount of P that will prevent the mechanism from moving. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First, let us see forces and reactions. So there is a force of 2000 Newton is applied here. Uh, so this link AB will undergo a tension and link BC will undergo a compression. And since P is applied here and this link will undergo a tension. Now let us draw free bar diagram at point B. So at point B, we have 2000 Newton acting towards this direction and S2 tension in the link AB is acting towards this direction and angle between 2000 and S2 is 75 degrees. And in the link BC, there is a compression and the force reaction is acting towards this direction. Angle between S1 and 2000 is 45 degrees. Now let us draw a plane XX that is perpendicular to this link AB. So since this is perpendicular to this and angle between uh, S2 and this XX is 90 degrees and angle from here to here is 75 degrees. So angle between 2000 and XX is 15 degrees. So similarly angle between S1 and XX is uh, 45 minus 15 that is 30 degrees. Now let us resolve forces along XX plane. So along XX plane we have sigma FX equal to 0. So the X uh, component of 2000 Newton along xx will be 2000 into cos 15 and that is equal to uh, the component of uh, s1 along xx plane will be s1 cos 30. So from this we get s1 equal to 2000 cos 15 by cos 30. Now let us draw free bar diagram at point C. So at point C we have P is acting towards this direction, s3 is acting towards this direction and s1 is acting towards this direction. Angle between S3 and P is 45 degrees. Angle between S1 and P is 60 degrees. Now let us draw a plane YY that is perpendicular to the link CD. So since YY is perpendicular to this link and angle between uh, P and S3 is 45 degrees. So angle between YY and P will become 45 degrees. And also yes, angle between S1 and P is 60 degrees and from here to here it is 45 degrees. So angle between S1 and YY plane will become 15 degrees. Now let us resolve forces along YY plane. So along YY plane we have sigma Y equal to 0. That is uh, uh, the component along YY plane P, a component of P along YY plane is P cos 45 that is equal to the component of S along YY plane is S1 cos 15. So from this we get P equal to S1 cos 15 by cos 45. In the previous slide we have seen that S1 equal to 2000 into cos 15 by cos 30. Let us substitute that in this and simplify we get P equal to 3047 Newton. So a force P of 3047 Newton is to be applied here as shown in figure to prevent the mechanism from moving. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.